Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> I'm back with uh, some scrap mechanic. I've never done this before on a video, and I'm hoping that you guys will like this. And it looks like it's glitching out like crazy. Okay. <laughs> I may need to reload the game. You can see there's this weird blue strip heading along through there. I know it has been a while since I made a video, and you can see how laggy my cursor is. Uh, I spent some, uh, some a nice week at Camp Harlow, and I'm going to be spending another one this next week as a counselor, so um, don't expect a lot of videos. <coughs> I managed to get uh, sick somehow. So, uh, yeah, I don't actually know for sure if I'm going to be at Camp Harlow, but... Anyway, back to the content of this game. So, we're going to be looking at, as I've said before, a game called Scrap Mechanic. It is on Steam. Uh, at least that's where I found it. And it's it's pretty fun. Um, there's a couple other YouTubers who do it, like YBR and Slogoman and stuff like that. Um, but I decided that maybe I should save up some money and get it. And I got it. And I made a couple creations. Uh, I'm hoping to show you guys once this loads up here. There we go. So, um, first I want to show you guys like how this works. So, the keys are kind of confusing, but first let's just go ahead and build like a small platform. <coughs> Sorry. Alright. And then we're going to just extend this out a little bit. Then we can go ahead and go like we need some suspension, so we're gonna add some pipes on each side like this. And I'm sorry, this this is laggy. And then I'm gonna go in and grab a suspension, and we're going to actually use sport suspension, which I actually haven't used on a creation. I've always used off road, so you know I don't really know how this handles, but well, we'll find out. <laughs> One thing that's frustrating about suspension, well, a couple things that are also helpful, is that one, you can't put bearings, which makes things spin around like that. You can't put them on suspension. But suspension also goes through stuff. Like if I were to just destroy this, see, it goes right through the ground. So that can be helpful for certain creations and stuff. Alright, so next we're going to add these tubes right up here on each one. And I'll explain why in a second. And just so that we can add the bearings on there, because you can't do it on the suspension. And this is so that it can turn. And we're going to do uh, front wheel steering. Okay. Like an economy car. Sort of. Wait, yeah, that's economy car. And then rear wheel drive. Come on. So then these will have the bearings here. That will actually control it. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the smaller wheels, which be right here. I don't know why this is lagging so hard right now, but it is. <laughs> also, I had to turn up the sensitivity of my mic because I can't talk that loud. Oops. Put it right there. <coughs> and let's put another wheel right here. And then now if I were to delete this, you can see that that all works. Um, you sort of push it around, I guess. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but now we're going to have to add the driver's seat and engine in there. And I'll be right back. I'm sorry, I completely forgot because I was listening to music earlier that uh, I turned the master volume on this all the way off. So let's turn it back on. We're going to want to grab a driver's seat right here we could put it this game is sort of like minecraft in case you were wondering and noticed uh, so we'll put it let's see uh wait is it this way wait which one has the steering okay so it's gotta be the other way okay let's put this uh driver's seat facing the other way and switch it around you press q in case you're wondering and then we'll put the engine right here, well, it's, there we go, right there. All right, and we'll uh, we'll take this and power, bring it to the engine, and the engine will power the rear wheels. 
and the steering. Oh, we gotta make sure they're both facing the right way. And the driver's seat will power the steering. I gotta make sure it steers the right direction as well. So I'll go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, that's backwards. So I'm just gonna switch that real quick. All right, there we go. And then give the engine some uh, some power. So go in there. Just go like that. So this, uh, the difference between the electric engine and the gas engine is that the gas engine has one speed but adjustable power. The electric engine has one power but adjustable speed. So I feel like for this one, maybe I should have used the other one, but we'll just sort of figure it out. All right. Oh yeah, that seems a little slow. Let's uh, kick it up. Is this too fast? That is way too fast. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and bring it up right there. Right, right about there. Bring it down a couple notches. Alright. There. That works. So that's the basics of vehicles. And I have made some recently, like before I left for Camp Harlow. We can go ahead and check those out, and there might be some scattered around the world. That was back before I learned how to save creations and stuff. So, for the last half of this video, I guess I can show you some of the creations I've made. So, one of them, the one I made the most recently, is the version 2 foot machine. I have these labeled, that's version 2. Version 2, and this is in its beta stages. So let's go ahead and take a look at the foot machine. I'll hit build, and it'll pop up right here. And if you want to look at the description, it says this weird crawler uses old out of style shoes to grip and new propulsion units to spin. And yes, I did write that myself. It's nothing special, but you know. <coughs> Let's uh get in here and then you can see steers, but it doesn't when you press W it doesn't control the front wheels that they get no steering. However, Typically, I don't need those propulsion units because there is bearings, and if you look here, the engine or this the engine is controlling these bearings, but the propulsion units help it to spin faster. So, so you see how this works? It's pretty fun. It's also pretty loud. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and take away all the propulsion units, and it would work just fine. Alright, so you can see it still spins. And in fact, I think that's even better, but it's a matter of, uh, it's a matter of choice at the situation. So you can see that's pretty cool. And in case you're wondering, guys, this is actually very close to how I look. Um, I look just like a blonde girl, in case you're wondering exactly what I look like. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll bring up my next creation. Go ahead and delete this. And we're going to grab, actually the first one out of here that I made was the hover machine. So we're going to go ahead and build this. And I feel like I should add numbers in each creation to say when I build them. I, should, I, I could go ahead and do that. Like This was my first creation. And then this was my second, oops, my second creation. And this is my third one, just so that it's all there. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and build this one. Now, the description's pretty simple. Check this out. I thought it was pretty cool. Again, one of my first creations. So the wheels don't actually move, but it's a hover machine. Now watch this. You can go ahead and steer by using left and right. Well, A and D. So if you go upright, you can go ahead and go like this. You, it's kind of hard to remember, especially when the game's being super laggy. But I thought that was pretty cool. If we get high enough, we can go ahead and do some like flips. All right, and then finally my last creation, which really isn't that good. But again, it's in its beta stages, and I'll figure it out eventually. And that is the bouncer. So I'll go ahead and build this one. And 
will hop in there. And basically, it just pushes you down so that you can bounce back up and slowly but surely move forwards. Really not that impressive. But you know what? It works. And then I made it. I try to make it so that you see that back one goes left and right and all the pipes move. But I really don't know if it works that well, <laughs> honestly. But it's just kind of something silly. It's pretty easy to turn upright if you fail. If you manage to fail, you just go like that. It didn't go down pretty hard sometimes. The original idea was if you know like those uh, tops that you push down, and then eventually the harder you push down, the higher it'll pop up. That was my original idea, and it ended up into something that actually goes forward instead. But I will be working on that top creation a little bit later. So you see how this works. Kind of cool. Um, whoa, okay, that just happened. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you like this new game. Whoa, I don't, what? I don't understand. Uh, I hope you like this new game. Uh, and if we're going to do something silly, we can just bring this full power. And then watch this. Uh, remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And, <laughs> oh, uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> Till next time, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thanks for watching.